Hello, this is um, John's Tech Advice, and on the Samsung Chromebook 3, this is going to be me navigating it, and then as a bonus, I'm going to show you guys how to flash an ISO image using a Chromebook. Because by popular belief, you can get some, and I say some with a heavy emphasis on some, um, productivity work done on a Chromebook, like typing. This would be perfect for actually for a kid to get homework and that stuff done. Not for a college kid. A college kid, I'd either recommend if you have the money, a MacBook, if depending on what they're doing. Like, if they're in it for, like, if they need to be using high-quality studio software or video editing, MacBook. That'd probably be a cheapest option instead of buying a big gaming rig for your homework. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to... Nope, we're not opening that up. We're going to do this. We're just going to, like, browse the web. Pictures of cats. Nope. And. Oh, that's a cute one right there. But anyway. Yeah, so it's pretty quick. If you have fast internet, it's going to be quicker. It's flash memory, so give or take, it's pretty fast. But it only has 16 gigabytes of storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM. A 1366 by 768 um, resolution, so not the best. Like I said, this is probably good for a kid. And if you want to add extra security, I'd tape the camera on the top of it for extra security. But besides that, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you guys something cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's this. This it's very cool. We're going to do this, erase it. Now what we're going to use is use a local image. We're going to use Ubuntu 21.10. I'm using a USB to SD thing, SD card thing. Anyway, we're not going to sit and watch this. This is why I'd rather watch paint dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you another cool thing. Now, I can't remember the script, so I'm going to look it up. Mr. Chrome Box GitHub. That's all I remember that much to get there. So what we're going to do... No, well, we're just we're just gonna. This is a this is experience, Mr. Chrome Box, Gallium OS. Oh yeah, this is this is interesting stuff. This is what you call hacking at its finest, but ethical hacking. So what we're gonna do with this, like this. Perfect. Uh, shell. I remember that much. So what we're going to do now is type. Uh, let's see what. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to the developer site. You know what we're going to do? No, we're going to type this out. We're not copy and pasting. That's the quickest route. But you know what? This is good for me to type this. Uh, let's see. That's not. That's an L. Mr. Chrome Box dot tech dash firmware util dot sh sudo install dt user local dash bin m755 
missing off brand. You know what? I typed it in. I gave it my all here. <laughs> See if uh, let's see. Let's try it again, Sudo. So install. I have a massive laptop and it's hard typing on the small laptop here. Well Chromebook to be more specific. Oh, well, fuck that. You know what? I'm not making this kid-friendly. I'm doing this the... I'm sorry, but this is not going to be kid-friendly. This is for parents. User dash local dash bin M755. I suck at typing when talking. Well, you know what? We're just going to do this. I am done making a fool of myself. Oh, I had to combine them. That's the problem. It wasn't like one script after another. I see what the problem was. But we're just going to copy and paste this for simplicity's sake at this point. Probably because I wanted to... I was dragging this out because I wanted to let that other thing finish. Here we go. This is exactly what I wanted. So anyway, this will... This is a script that basically put a custom bootloader or whatever on here. It's, a, it's firmware, me firmware, my bad, again, things mixed up here. Install RW Legacy Firmware. No. You see, this is, you think of John, this is dangerous, don't do this, you're gonna break your device. Well, you see that right protection stuff right there? That's the dangerous stuff. You can't do it unless you take the battery out and then you plug, take take the battery out, put it back together. Not put the battery back together, but take the battery out, put the case back together, turn it on using the you the power cord, and then do it. The disable then they type in this fancy script to disable write protection. It's stupid. I believe Chromebooks. I believe computers should be set free. This is why where I need to get a custom screwdriver or something. I don't know whatever kind of special thing to remove these special screws from the back of this Chromebook and I might even do a video doing that. I might um, buy a, like a tripod so I can uh, show you this. I'm dedicated to YouTube now. Except when I'm working of course. It's not updated. Okay. Quit. We're going to quit this. Clear it. Exit out. And so that's about. Let's go back to this. Yep, it worked. Done. Well, that was the end of this video. Um, I would hope you guys liked it. I liked it, and you probably were laughing at my mishaps there. But you know, whatever. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe for more. And peace.